Hello and welcome! My name is Daniel from 3D Tutorial and in this video I will show you the ultimate bouncing boy rig for Cinema 4D. And of course you can download this rig for free from our website. You will find the link in the video description. Okay, let's take a look at our rig. First of all we have the master controller. With the master controller we are able to position and rotate our rig in the 3D space and of course we can scale our rig, make sure you are in the object mode and then you can scale um, the bouncing ball rig. And if you want to reset the bouncing ball rig to its origin scale and origin position, just use the uh, reset PSR commands from the characters menu. Okay, let's take a look at our lower and upper controller. With this both controllers we are able to stretch and squash our rig. If I pull the upper controller away from the uh, lower controller, I get a stretch. And if I pull it to the lower controller, we get a squash. And of course we can do it uh, also with the lower controller. We pull it away from the upper controller, we get a stretch. And if I pull it to the upper controller, we get a uh, squash. And you can move these controllers everywhere in your 3D space. The squash and stretch is also working uh, correctly and perfectly. Okay, let's uh, reset the both controllers back to their origin position and take a look at our rotate controller. With the rotate controller we are able to rotate the ball and uh, as you can see we are rotating the lower and upper controller with the rotate controller and if we uh, move our lower and upper controller uh, the squash and stretch is also working uh, perfectly. Okay, let's uh, reset everything back to its origin position and take a look at our move controller. With the move controller we are able to move the ball around in our 3D space and it's also possible to rotate the move controller and it's also possible to move the rotate controller. If you don't want it, just lock the uh, position in the rotate controller and just lock the rotation in the move controller. It is uh, not locked to get more flexibility in the animation. If you don't want it, just lock it and you are good to go. Uh, let's reset everything back to its origin position and take a look at our bouncing ball stretch and squash factor. Uh, we have a factor from 2 for stretch and squash. That's our recommended setup to maintain the correct volume of the ball. As you can see if I stretch it and squash it, uh, it's plausible and if you want to Exaggerate your animation, just uh, crank the stretch and squash factor up to 10 and you can get more crazy volumes in your stretch and squash deformation of the bouncing ball. Yes, that's it and thank you for watching this tutorial. See you soon and goodbye.